Hi traders, welcome to FX Mentor US and in this video you are going to learn about the buy sell indicator that is going to be finally revealed on my YouTube channel. So you can use this indicator for the scalping purpose and as well as for the day trading. So before I start this video, if you want to join the best broker that I personally use, the link is given in the description of this video below. And they offer variety of accounts from standard, standard, cent, raw, spread and zero and the pro account. So let's move towards our strategy and we will be using a couple of indicators in this strategy. The first indicator that we are going to use is swing arm ATR trend indicator. I repeat swing arm ATR trend indicator and this is by VSN FND and 3096 traders are using this strategy on trading view. So if we attach this indicator on our screen, it has a general look like this. Now we are going to add another indicator which would support us is the signal table. So if you just write signal table, then you will find that this is by only Fibonacci and this is used by only 600 and trend traders till now because it is not widely used till now. So this is kind of a hidden strategy that I'm going to reveal today on my YouTube channel. Now we will make some adjustments and we will do some settings. So I'm going to the first indicator settings that is called black flag, uh, flag FTS. Okay. Now you can see we have so many options that are ticked and we do not need them and we will uncheck all of them except the plots background. We will leave the plot backgrounds and we will uncheck all others. So I'm going to do it one by one so that you can see that how I'm doing 5 3 l double one. 100 ls2 ls3 so we will uncheck all of them because we don't need any kind of them on our screen right okay and uh, also you uh, uh, remove the labels and the values uh, from this section as well right let's go to the inputs and here you will need to change the atr factor from 5 to 6 and then press okay and our uh, the first indicator setup is ready now we are going to the signal table settings and inside it what I am going to do is this uh, if I go to the style section then you can see we have option tables that is checked in so I will remove these tables and the rest all of the things will remain same and I will make no change in this right okay now the uh, we will talk about the entry rules the entry rules are very very simple that first of all you should be looking for the uh, you can see there is a green cloud and the uh, red cloud okay so you should be looking for the price action to be below the uh, red cloud for taking a sell position right okay so for example here you can see it was below the uh, sell cloud and you can set up a stop loss at the previous high of the market and then you have targeted something like uh, if we uh, count the number of pips that it is kind of a 2.85 trading ratio here okay Similarly, here we have the green zone and you can see it went up, but later on the red zone started. So better you use some higher time frames like 5 minute and the 10 minute, uh, sorry, 15 minute time frame so that you can get more good results. If we talk about here, then you can see that we are into the green cloud and the moving averages also crossed each other. Basically, we are looking for the both things. The moving averages should cross each other and you should have a bullish Heikanashi candle. That's important. And for example, if you have a taken a trade from here, set up a stop loss at the previous low of the market. Let's see you how much you made from this trade. So if we calculate the ratio, that is becomes 5.65 almost. Okay. Let's go to Euro USD and test. Okay, green zone. You can see a very good trade. Right now the sell zone is running, so we will have to wait for the selling opportunity. So this is the very good indicator and I, like you can see that if you are going into the trending markets, they are going to give you a very good results. So for example, if you have taken your entry from here, set up at a stop loss at the previous low of the market and you can see uh, that till now we were able to catch 2.95 ratio by trading this pair as well. So guys use this uh, amazing combination that is very good and that is very reliable and wait for the moving averages to cross, cross each other and that's a very simple rule that the market should be above the green cloud for taking a buy entry and it should be below the red cloud for taking the sell entry like as you can see on the screen. So this is a simple method that you can follow for your trading and this method is also applicable in forex crypto and the stock market any time frame any pair like if you choose higher time frames then more good results you will be able to see because uh, it is the 
it is a, a time frame dependent as well so uh, on the scalping it gives uh, relatively less good results but into the long trading like 15 minute 30 minute chart they are going to perform very well into uh, with these indicators so guys what do you think about this trading setup please let me know into the comment section moreover please subscribe fx mentor us and share these videos with everyone thank you very much for watching this video